My name is Michelle and this is my channel, Michelle Sews Again. Um, I am a returning sewer. I took a break for about 25 years and I'm just back at it since lockdown started. So this is basically my vlog journey following my um, attempts at um, improving my skills and getting better at sewing. Um, so with that said, today's video is an update on where I stand with my work from home module sew along that I'm following Whitney from Tomcat Stitchery on. And um, I've already done a plans video for this. So uh, you'll see the patterns that I'm planning to make um, and the fabrics that I was planning to make each item in. Um, so this is just an update on where I stand with everything. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, please do. Uh, that's the same name, Michelle Sews Again. And I've already posted this um, top. This is my first piece of the module. Um, and this is a print where um, I, I've recently had my colors done and um, these, all of these colors are in my, my color wheel. The coral, the oranges, the yellows, the greens, the white and black, not so much. Um, I should be, uh, although this is more of an off-white, so this is kind of okay. It's not a stark white. Black is not so much in my color wheel, but as long as it's just an accent color, it's fine. Anyway, um, this is kind of the anchor pattern for my wardrobe, or my module, I should say, um, and everything kind of plays off of this and it's all going to coordinate very well, which is very exciting to me because nothing in my closet right now coordinates. It's all a lot of prints, um, a lot of bright, colorful prints um, that uh, they don't coordinate with each other. So I wear printed tops with plain bottoms. I wear printed bottoms with plain tops, uh, but nothing actually goes together. So I'm excited to, um, to do this. Anyway, so this is the first piece that I made, and um, I've actually made three of these tops um, since I started sewing again in March. This is the um, the Bell Bird top by the Sewing Revival, and I love the way that it fits. It's got the grown on sleeve. It's got a la a big wide elastic band, but it's loose fitting. It's not tight, and um, so the elastic is really more. Um, like a styling detail than it is about fit. Um, but I, I just love the way it looks. I did, so because I've made two of these, I gave one as a gift. So I actually only own one other one myself. Um, I made both of those in double brushed poly. And so they, um, the fact that they taper down um, into the waist hasn't been an issue because it's got a little stretch in it. The one issue I have with it is it's a little bit short for me. I like, it hits me right in the middle of my tummy bulge and I would prefer for it to be a little bit longer and cover that up. So with this, because this is a, a Telio rayon that I got from fabric.com, which I absolutely love the print. Um, it doesn't have any stretch in it. So where it tapers, I knew it was gonna be too tight. And this is the biggest size, by the way. Um, I'll put my measurements in the bottom, even though that's embarrassing, but I'm gonna do it because that's what you do on a sewing blog. Anyway, um, so uh, yeah, the waist was gonna be too narrow in this fabric, so I knew I wanted to add some um, width to it as well as some length. So I added two inches to the bottom width and just graded that up into the arm, uh, into the armhole. And then I added two inches to the length and it came out perfect. Um, I'm not gonna, I don't know. So I don't like things super fitted. So the two inches actually gave me perfect width at the hips. Um, and I will insert a picture of me wearing it full length so you can see where it hits me um, lengthwise. Um, and yeah, I'm super happy with it. And I, I just know I'm gonna make so many more of these tops because it's just a perfect, easy go-to. I don't wear t-shirts, so I know there's a ton of videos out there about the perfect tee. I, I don't wear t-shirts. So to me, this is my perfect basic top. So I could make this in like basic t-shirt material. I can make it in fleece probably. Like, um, yeah, I can make this in a bunch of different fabrics and be completely happy with it. Um, so yeah, uh, that's my first piece and what everything else is gonna build off of. 
I've also started making my first pair of pants, A, my first pair of pants ever, and B, my first pair of pants for the module. And it is the Moji pant from Seamwork. And I love the pattern. It's been really easy to sew up. The only, I'm not quite finished yet. I still have the waistband to put on and I'm just waiting for the grommets and the ribbon to arrive from Amazon, which should be arriving today. Um, and then I'll be finished. Like I said, I'm a beginner. So modifying patterns uh, is new to me um, because the last time I sewed 25 years ago, patterns fit me um, as sewn. So I didn't have to, I didn't really learn how to modify patterns. Um, the pants are going to fit me in the waist. So the Moji pant, if you're not aware, I'll, I'll put a picture up, um, is a drawstring waisted pant. So there's no fly, there's no buttons, which is part of why it's easy. The whole point of this module was that it was a work from home module. So I wanted to make sure I was doing things that were comfortable and not too fussy. So they're the perfect work from home pant. The problem is that they, I made the size 24 based on my measurements and they are going to fit me in the hips and waist, which is what the measurements are based on, but the legs are huge and too long. So I don't like my pant legs to be that baggy. I like my tops to be baggy and I like my pants to be fitted because otherwise, I mean, I already look dumpy, but that just makes me look frumpy. So, um, I need to take in the legs of the pants and then take up the hem. They're supposed to be <laughs> a capri length, so they're supposed to hit you over the ankle and mine are, I mean, these go under my under my heel. They're just way too long. So um, I will um, pop a picture of me wearing them as is. And I would love it if you guys could give me any hints or tips on how to fix them so that they fit me because I love the fabric. It's an olive twill, stretch twill. Um, and one of the things I did that um, was partly because I'm lazy and partly I ended, it, really because I'm lazy, um, but ended up being um, awesome because I love the way it looks. I have, uh, I bought like this 48 count of thread uh, from Amazon. And it's good thread, um, I forget what brand it is, but it's a good brand of thread. And it has a gamut of colors and they have matched every project that I've done so far. I found something to match what I needed. I don't have any, there's nothing in there that's an olive color. There's greens and different shades of greens, but none of them are olive green. And they were just too, they were too wrong for the um, fabric. But I did find this um, kind of, it's almost like a goldeny mustard yellow that ended up look, I ended up using that. And be, even with the top stitching, like I just like the contrast. It's the right shade of goldy, yellowy goodness to combine with the olive. And it just looks really nice. And so it was a happy accident because I was, Lazy is not the right word, impatient is the right word. I didn't wanna to have to wait. I was ready to get started. I didn't wanna to have to wait to either order or to um, you know, go, go out and pick up some um, thread. So I just wanted to get started and this yarn, or sorry, this thread worked for that. And it worked out okay. So anyway, so that's my second item that's close to being finished um, and then I have a third item that I started and um, was not part of my plans and that's this sweater. So I love the color. It's going to work in very well with all the other colors in my module and I am a little more than two-thirds of the way through. So I've got the, the full back is knit, one piece of the front is knit. What's really cool about this pattern, it's a loopy mango pattern. I did not buy the loopy mango yarn 
to make the pattern because I wasn't going to spend, I think it was going to cost me $230 or something in that neighborhood for the yarn to make my size. And so I went on the internet, I went on Google and I, I searched for a dupe for the loopy mango cotton, I, I think it's called big cotton um, yarn. And I found somebody had said that this yarn was like the perfect dupe. It's from Hobby Lobby and it's from Yarn B. I don't know if you can, probably. And um, yeah, it is, it's actually um, from all of the details on the, it's 50 yards, the loopy mango was 48 yards, the weight is the same, the um, gauge is the same, um, and this color from this brand is like the perfect color for my module. So, and it was a fraction of the price. I think I got all the yarn, shoot, I don't remember. I'm gonna have to research it and, and I'll put that on here. But I mean, I don't think I paid more than $50 for all the yarn versus 230. Um, and, and it's beautiful, it's 100% cotton. So it's not, um, it's not a um, synthetic, uh, um, it's not a synthetic it's and it's it feels wonderful it's beautiful it feels like nice quality um so yeah i'm, I'm happy with that um alternate option um and what's interesting about the pattern is um you start on the back i knit up the the whole back and then you drop not drop you put ha uh, half the stitches on like um just a holder thread and then you continue one side of the front from the back. So it's like it goes over so that you're not piecing, you're not uh, knitting each of the front pieces and the back piece all separate. You knit it all together. So then I finished the front, one side of the front last night, and then you just pick back up where you put the yarn on hold on the other shoulder and you put your needles back in and you start knitting again. So you're actually knitting the back and both pieces of the front all in one piece. Um, and then I'll, I guess the sleeves are separate. Um, I haven't read through the whole direct, all of the directions yet, but um, it is working up super fast. I just started this one night this week and finished the back last night and then started on the one side of the front and finished it last night. And I got like two rows of the other side of the front started. So yeah, it's knitting up super quick. Um, it's gonna be, it's a loose, uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's a like a loose um, seed stitch, um, but it's gonna be super cozy. And um, I can't wait to wear this. It's like the perfect work from home sweater. Perfect. Um, all right, so that's, uh, I think that's everything I have. Oh, I did have one more thing I wanted to say. So in my plans video, my topper is the Carrie Cocoon Cardigan from Delia Creates. I am still making that, but I'm not gonna make it in the fabric that I said I was gonna make it in because once I got that, it's a fabric from Mood. It's a really, it's a beautiful fabric. It's a beige, It's but it's a cotton, like a cotton. I, I must not have read the description very well because it's just a cotton, uh, um, What's the right word? I don't know, it's like it's like a cotton, almost like a, it feels the same as this. So like a rayon cotton, if that even makes sense. Um, but it's a beige color with like uh, outlines of hands all over it. So it's a, it's a fun print. It's just not an outer, it's not for a, like a cardigan or an outerwear or topper piece. So it's just the wrong fabric for that item. So I'll save the fabric for something else because I do love it and um, don't regret buying it. Um, but I need to find something else for the um, cocoon cardigan. I'm thinking like a, a fun um, sweatshirt fleece print. Um, so I'm on the hunt for that now. Um, but everything else is, um, I've got all my fabric in. Um, I don't have all my patterns in though. So I had to order, I'm not, I don't have, I've already mentioned, I don't have a lot of patience. So um, I discovered PDF printing uh, 
PDF Plotting, I think is the name of the company. And so I'm not printing my own PDFs and taping them together anymore. I, my time is more valuable than that. I work, I work like 50 to 60 hours in my day job. So when I have free time, I don't wanna spend it piecing a pattern together. My time is worth the extra dollar per page or dollar 10 per page or whatever it is, um, even on top of whatever I paid for the pattern to have somebody else print it and mail it to me and they mail it, they print and mail very quickly. So um, it's worth it to me. So I ordered um, several patterns um, that I had in PDF to be printed and mailed to me and I'm waiting on the Lauren top and the Emmy top. So my other two top patterns, I don't have them yet, but I do have the fabric. Um, and so I think um, I'm hoping to finish my Moji pants today, not with the alterations, but with the waistband. And then um, I think I'm gonna get started on the overalls next. I'm not, I have the wide leg culottes in the Ponte planned as my second pair of pants. I'm not super excited about that though, because I don't think wide leg pants look good on me. I might reconsider that pattern. I still like the fabric. I got the fabric in, it's a camel color Ponte knit. It's gorgeous. So I definitely will use the fabric, but I think I'm gonna reconsider the pants. If you guys have any great, simple, comfy pant patterns, tell me below. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on that. Um, so I think that's everything I have today. So um, if you like the content that I've been providing, um, I would love it if you would subscribe, like this video so that other people can see what I am bringing to the table and follow me on Instagram at Michelle Sews again. And please, please, please um, participate in the comments below. Um, if wherever you are, I hope you're having a fabulous day. I hope the sun is shining. I hope you're engaging in some kind of fun, creative activity, sewing, knitting, painting, beading, whatever you do. I hope you're having fun at it. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.